Okay, let me briefly go through uh, what we have done in exercise 2 and we are going to do exercise 3 which is about uh, logistics regression. So um, I'm going to open a new page and go to data and uh, select Logi RFM 1 to Logi RFM 12 and you know press shift and click on the last variable and you'll be able to select the whole variables and then drag it over to the canvas and it creates a, 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 a correlation matrix and if not if you have done this exercise before it automatically creates the bar chart that you did before and we are going to convert this one to box plot uh, so that we can see what is happening uh, in this each variable in terms of um, target variable 0 and 1 and uh, uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to see the logistics uh, regression so what you can do is you can click on this option button again and uh, go to change box plot to now logistics regression the reason why we use logistics regression is because uh, the, the dependent variable y variable uh, is a binary variable which is 0 and 1 a normal regression cannot handle dependent variable or binary dependent variable only logistics regression can do and we'll delve into it a little bit later so at this point you go there and click on logistic regression and then it, it is going to give you uh, this nice result uh, fee summary and uh, residual plot over here and then lift uh, these results are produced uh, as a result of that uh, model in the upper right corner of the largest regression uh, click on this maximize button and then it's going to maximize uh, and then you can also collapse this data roles so that you can see um, more and along the top of the new details table click uh, the parameter estimates tab here parameter estimates and then you can see uh, the in intercept and uh, uh, the coefficient for each variables from RF1 to RF12 that you can see right here. Um, uh, besides this, you can see interaction impact, uh, dimensions and response profile, conversions, fit statistics, uh, those things you can see here. In the upper right corner of the report, click uh, this one so that you can restore um, restore the icon with four inward arrows and, and then in the upper right corner select uh, um, your uh, your ID and then you can click on settings and here you can set um, general global setting or SAS visual analytics settings and uh, explore general preferences for the analysis uh, select visual statistics under SAS visual analytics here and the fit summary p-value precision field changes the number of decimal places to display p-values keep this at uh, uh, 0.5, select close 5 and this is good, then click close ok, now we want to save and share this uh, result with others and you can do this very easily uh, click on this option button and then go to say share object and uh, you can uh, you may have an image to save first and then just click on OK and uh, it says embedded link um, or link options printing and sharing 
uh, is there allowed or not. So link up, link is right here, so you can uh, copy it and go to any browser and click on it, then it's going to share the result. So first save it under uh, your folder and then uh, under my folder and then uh, you should be able to share the result like this and you know, you know it creates a website for you. It can be shared by a smartphone or iPad or a computer uh, or send an email. Very convenient way of sharing the information. Okay, so, so this is how you are going to uh, share the results as well.